To access the video transition menu, press F5 or double-click on a video edit. The menu provides the following choices. Cut to remove any previously applied transitions. Dissolve to create a mix or crossfade between segments. Wipe provides a selection of basic transitional effects. And Custom, which provides access to transitions that have been created in effects. There is a separate tutorial on how to share and use custom transitions. When accessing the video transition menu, be aware of which video track you'll be affecting, indicated in the dark blue box at the top of the menu. You can use track filters to control which track is affected on a multi-layer timeline. Cut is the default when opening the transition menu. It's also where a default duration and position can be set up for use in other transition options. You can add a dissolve just by clicking on the word dissolve, and the defaults will be applied. The blue scrolling box controls where the transition is applied relative to the start and end of the two segments. You have the choice of centred, before or after. You cannot select any, but if you use the green offset box you'll find that any will automatically appear, giving you complete control over where the transition is applied. The green length box controls the duration in frames. The Profile option controls the acceleration of the dissolve, providing a direct linear mix or an S-curve which is slower at the start and end. The Pre-Multiply Keys box is for use when mixing between clips with key channels present. Wipe has the same position controls plus some additional options. The shapes available are opened by clicking on the black and grey wipe shape at the right of the menu. Click on the shape you require to select. The border button will add an edge to the shape at the size indicated in the green box to the right of border, and the colour indicated underneath the border percentage. To change the colour, click on the colour box, choose what you require, then click back on the colour box to set the colour in. The position box allows you to offset where the transition is centred on screen. The soft in and soft out options allow you to soften the edge of the shape or of the border if one is applied. Field should be highlighted if you're using interlaced material. Custom transitions can be created on one Quantel product and transferred to another, either using a server or an archive process. If the transition you want is already in one of the six boxes in the transition menu, you can apply just by clicking. Please see the tutorial on using custom transitions for further detail on how to populate these six boxes if required. If there are a limited number of tails available on the segments, the length of the transition will change to reflect what's available. If there are tails on one clip and not the other, changing whether the transition happens before or after the edit point can alleviate the problem. As each type of transition is selected, it's rendered, indicated by a purple bar with a yellow line crossing above the transition. As a transition is adjusted, it will automatically re-render. You can choose to switch Auto Render Off in the F1 menu, but you'll need to press the Render box at the right of the timeline when you've finished applying the options. To remove any transition, select Cut.